Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the next episode of the Beginner's Guide. And we are going to be heading to Rancho Del Arroyo today because for those of you that do not know this, you don't actually have to own a DLC or a, I guess a map DLC in order to be able to play on that map. You can go into multiplayer just like this and even if you don't own the map you can still play on it so it's a pretty awesome feature that the game has uh, a lot of people don't seem to know about it though but you don't need to own the map in order to play it as long as you have access to multiplayer you can play on any map regardless of whether or not you have purchased it and so because of that we aren't going to limit ourselves to only the base reserves in this series we will we will go to different reserves as you guys have already seen in previous episodes so let's go ahead and jump into Rancho Del Arroyo. This will be the first time we've actually opened up our own Rancho Del Arroyo. Typically, we've only gone into multiplayer for this map, so let's see what we've got on our own reserve. So we did actually just get the option to do a mission, as you guys can see on the little hunter mate, but we're not going to be doing that today, but I do want you guys to let me know in the comments if you want to see me do some missions here on Rancho Del Arroyo for the beginner series because I really think it could be a lot of fun and it could be a good way to get used to the missions and also earn some extra XP and money in the process. Oh, and also we do have a skill point available, so we will be putting that in. I earned this at the very end of the last video. Uh, if you guys remember in the last one, I ended up shooting some stuff, but didn't actually claim it in the video. I claimed it after I finished the video, so we did end up getting a level from that. So we will need to uh, put that in and we need to dump off a couple things. It looks like uh, I guess we will dump off the 270 since we aren't really needing that anymore. And now I think we are ready to drop that skill point in. So what are we going to put this in? I'm honestly not 100% sure because there's a couple things we could work towards. We could either work towards sight spotting and honestly I think that's what we're going to do here. So let's do one more level into probably... Yeah, I guess we'll do this one. It doesn't seem like it'll be super useful, but it's something that we need to unlock in order to be able to unlock this. So next time we get a skill point, we can get sight spotting, and this will allow us to spot animals with our scope, which is a very big thing in my opinion. I think it's great. It really helps with keeping animals spotted after you've shot them. Because uh, for those of you that don't know after you shoot an animal, as long as you have it spotted, there will be a little icon on the map that will show like I guess a green spotted icon and it's a good way to keep track of where animals have died so the only real goal for today is to unlock a bit of the outposts and lookout towers here on Rancho del Arroyo along with explore a little bit and eventually get down to the hot spot in the south because this area is just absolutely amazing as you guys know there is so many animals that feed here it's by far the best spot on the map and it's definitely one of the first places you need to go when you get this map. It is just incredible. But we do actually have a pheasant. It looks like it's actually going to fly towards us, so let's go ahead and take her out real quickly. I did not see any roosters or any other pheasants for that matter, so we're not going to look around for any more around here because I don't think there actually is any. Well, there's a turkey. Let's see if we can take this thing out while it's flying away I don't know if we actually there we go I was gonna say I don't know if we'll be able to hit it but we actually got it on our second shot so that went pretty well so it actually took me a little bit longer to find this turkey than I had hoped I for some reason just could not remember what direction it flew in and I couldn't find the blood at first so I almost didn't find it and we have finally made our way to the first outpost on our way to the southern hotspot and this is actually right next to the lake where we killed our first great one. So we're definitely going to go check for some whitetail real quickly. This is actually at whitetail time, I believe. Yeah, 925. So we're going to go look around here a little bit and see if we can find a couple decent bucks to take out. So we definitely don't have any massive bucks here, but I think that one right there is going to be the best one. So let's see if we can get a shot on it. This will be the first shot we have taken with the 7mm. So I'm pretty excited to get this guy down. And that right there should have been a decent shot, although it's a bit difficult to tell since we are a little bit farther away and we don't have the ability to spot them. And that right there looks like a pretty decent buck, actually. So I'm actually not too mad that we just messed that shot up because it looks like we got some better deer in this other herd anyway. All right, so this looks like it's going to be as good of an opportunity as any to take out a whitetail buck. So 
Since this guy's walking back to us, let's go ahead and just take a shot here. And that should be good. It looks like we dropped him on the spot, actually. And now that we have that guy down, let's go ahead and... Oh. You know, it actually looks like we did drop that first buck. I did not even realize I was standing on top of him. Uh, that's actually kind of funny. But uh, what I was going to say is, now that we have taken out that buck, let's go ahead and get this larger buck right here. That guy should go nowhere. I still can't believe we were standing on top of that first deer. I thought for sure that I messed the shot up on it. So I just didn't even think that there could possibly be a third one. And uh, yeah, well, it looks like we did make a good shot on that first one, unlike what I thought. But this one right here is the biggest one, and that's a turkey. Uh, normally I'd shoot that, but I believe we would delete this zone if I ended up doing that. So we're not going to, but that is our first... Uh, 200 plus white tail deer, 217.20. What a beauty. Well, I think this is the only buck that I can actually see from this zone, so let's go ahead and try to take him out. And it looks like he turned right as I shot, so uh, that's kind of unfortunate because I think these are going to spook off now. Yeah, these definitely spooked, but actually, this one I don't think did, so get him down real quickly. It's not a big one, but still a deer. Well, we're finally going to get a shot at this larger buck that we tried to take a shot at once, but ended up missing. See if we can make this shot count. Uh, he's being kind of stubborn, though, it seems. He doesn't want to stay out in the open, unfortunately. And he's constantly moving. Um, I actually don't know which buck is which. I guess we'll go for this one because it seems like it's in a bit of a better spot. And we definitely hit it. I don't know how good, though. We actually have a couple bucks running towards us, so let's just take down that guy right there. And actually, I think it was a buck and a doe now that I look at them better. Grab this one, and then we'll take the second one next, because I think it just now died. We do have three dots of hunting pressure, and I don't know what to think of that. I guess we should probably take it out, <laughs> just to get a little bit of extra money. Not a big buck, but none of these really have been. And here is the last one because I was not able to find the other one, unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure where it went off to, but I wasn't able to see it. So we're just going to move on and head back down to the hotspot. And we have finally made it to another outpost on our way to the hotspot. This one is actually very close to it. And a lot of times in multiplayer, this is where I will spawn when I want to run down to the hotspot. It's a pretty close lodge. There is one that's a little bit closer, but we aren't quite to that yet. It's clear down in this area, and actually, I honestly don't know which one's closer. They're very similar, but I tend to like the one that's south of the spot, so we'll probably try to get that after we check out the hotspot. So the only way I can take any of these coyotes out is if I shoot them with buckshot, so... I've loaded up the buckshot into my 12 gauge because I don't actually carry the 243 with me right now because I'm just trying to set the map up a little bit, so we're going to try and buckshot a couple coyotes, I guess? I mean, they're pretty close and they run slow, so I think we'll be able to do it. In fact, yeah, they're right here. There's one that's actually stuck. I think we got it on that shot, but I, I don't even know, honestly. Oh, yeah, we definitely did. So that's one of them down. And that should be another. And probably another, I would guess. It's so hard to tell. So there's one of the little coyotes. This one is a common female. We pretty much hit everything except for the vitals. That's actually very unlucky. Uh, I don't know if we got any of these others. There's definitely some blood. But it doesn't look like it was vitals on either of them. But I mean, it did go down, so we at least hit something, and it was thoracic vertebrae, so not exactly a great shot, but that's a level 4 male, so it didn't really matter too much. It's just a small one. Well, we've got a few rabbits here, so we might as well take them out since they're deciding not to run. We've got a couple males, so we'll prioritize those, and in fact, I think we missed that one. Uh, we definitely got at least one of them. I'm hoping we got a second. I think we probably did, but the shots weren't the best there, so it's hard to say. But this one right here went down, and it is a 3.90 male. And it does not look like we hit any others, sadly. 
we have finally made it to the hot spot so we can finally drop this tent down right here and now we will real quickly set the time to seven in the morning because i find that that is the best time to head to this place and let's see what we end up having here well that's what we have here we've got an albino mule deer doe uh would have preferred a buck but that's still pretty cool still a rare regardless well that seems to be the only like crazy thing here so i guess we should probably take a shot on her we do have access to the high zeroing estimate finally i think we got that a couple episodes ago so we can actually take a long range shot and feel pretty comfortable that we're gonna hit it so let's see if it'll lift its head up once it does we will take the shot and that was a teleporting deer that was interesting and i think this is our cue to take the shot I have no clue how that missed. Is that farther than 300 meters? It might be. It's 318, but that's not much farther. I think that should have hit. I mean, either way, it missed. There's nothing we can do about that. We are just gonna have to wait for them to come back then. That's unfortunate. I really thought that was gonna hit. Well, after a quick time change and restarting of our game, we finally have it back here. It took longer to get it to come back than I thought, so we're going to do our best to not screw it up this time. I think we will check the distance first, and it looks like it is 310, so we're going to go ahead and go prone and actually shoot near it with the 22 so we can get a broadside shot, and this is actually going to be a good enough shot, I think. And it looks like we definitely hit it. Question is, was it vitals? Because the 7 mil will not kill them instantly, and it was definitely vitals, so we finally have her down. There's also a decent 4 with her, but I doubt we would be able to get a shot on that, so we're just going to settle for the doe and call it there. And since we have to go past them anyway, let's go ahead and take out a couple of these turkeys. We have two toms out there, so let's try to get shots into both of them. And in fact, I think there might even be some more toms. I guess we will take a quick scan. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, it looks like we got the only two. There's our first little turkey. We actually managed to get almost a lung shot. If we had just been a little bit further to the right, that might have been able to hit it. It's uh, so back and forth on whether or not they hit, though, with the turkeys. But there we go, our second turkey down. And... The mule deer should be just up here. Well, there we have it. I believe this is the first rare mule deer that we have killed off of Rancho Del Arroyo on this beginner series. So that's a pretty cool moment. And hopefully we can get a buck eventually. But for now, we at least have this right here. Uh, we're not going to be taxing it because it is just a female. And I don't like to waste the cash on females, especially on something like this. I would not recommend taxing females unless it's something that you actually want to display in your lodge for a long time, but I typically don't taxidermize them because most of the time they're just going to get replaced by males later in the future anyway, so we don't usually tax these, but it's still really cool to get. So I think to finish this video off, we are going to go to one of my favorite lakes for whitetail. I actually just changed the time back to whitetail time, and we're going to see what is around the starter lake. This is right next to the lodge that you unlock when you first open up Rancho Del Arroyo. So it's very accessible, and there's usually a lot of whitetail deer here. This is one of the best lakes easily. It's definitely the most consistent. You can delete the zones countless times, and they will always come back at this lake. It's honestly incredible, and that's why it's one of my favorite lakes, and I figure we might as well check this out for our first time during this video and see what we have, and actually, I think that might be a three. No, that's definitely not, now that I get a second look at him. We do have a few decent bucks, though, and that guy is a good deer. He's just not a three, and that's also a decent one, so we'll probably try to take out one of those after we check the rest of the lake, and yeah, those two are definitely the best deer here, so... Let's, uh, well, first let's reload real quickly. Then we will take a shot on probably that guy first since he's actually giving us a decent shot. And that should do it for him. I think we got a single lung. See if we can get this guy as he's running away. Provided he actually gives us an angle. And I thought maybe we could get the next shot, but sadly we missed. 
Our second buck has not died, so for the moment being, we will just grab this one. 237.60 is a very solid deer. And we have one more side of this lake to check. And hopefully there's going to be some big herds over there. It's typically the best half of the lake for me. And right over there is actually where it is. I see a couple already, but not as many as I was hoping to see. We did just unlock the 338 though. And that's going to be huge. We can finally take out stuff like moose and even Cape Buffalo. This is absolutely huge. So I guess the next episode is going to be earning money to get the 338. That's going to be pretty awesome once we can get that thing. Well, since there's not as many deer as I was hoping to find on this side of the lake, I think we will end it off with this guy. This is one of the most wonky whitetail deer I've seen in a little while, so you know we gotta get this thing down, because it looks absolutely ridiculous. And that should be a dead whitetail. I'm hoping at least, unless we just completely missed all vitals with that shot, which is also possible, <laughs> and that is definitely what happened. Well. Not what I was intending to have happen, but I guess it is what it is. But it looks like we were able to get a second shot into him, so it doesn't even matter that we messed up the first one. And we finally made it over to this extremely funky buck, and this thing is just all kinds of twisted. I don't even know what happened with him. That's just wild. Such a strange and funky buck. It honestly looks like a blacktail antler on one side when you look at it from like right there. That's crazy. This guy is super twisted. That's actually worth taking a screenshot of, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I'd say that's a, a good buck to end things off with. So if you guys are enjoying the series, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next in the series. I really want to get your guys' suggestions on what we should do in this beginner series because there's a lot of things to go through in Call of the Wild and I want you guys to let me know what you think are the most important so that I can prioritize them. So leave a comment down below. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a new upload or live stream. And with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.